Okay. Here's why you don't get these two mixed up, ladies and gentlemen. The camera on the right is a FLIR K2. It's a situational awareness camera. It's around $1,000, depending on where you buy it, $999 to $1,400. Bucks. The camera on the left is a FLIR K65, NFPA 1801 approved, decision-making camera, uh, 76,800 pixels versus 19,000 pixels. This is, look, both of these cameras are pointed at the same image. One of my instructors is approximately 15 to 20 feet away. Watch as he walks forward. Look at the camera on the right. Look at the camera on the left. Tell me the difference. Yeah, start walking towards Terrence. Walk on way to us. Very good. So what did you notice between the two different cameras? The one on the left, the decision-making camera, the K65, is much higher resolution, better detail. You can see the firefighter. Where the camera on the right is the K2, that's a situational awareness camera. Even though it's hardy and built for the fire ground, it's 19,200 pixels. The K65 is four times that amount in resolution. Plus, the K2 has an actual digital camera built into it. So the picture looks pretty good in the day room or inside of the office, but when you go inside of a fire environment, it has its defined limitations. Do your homework. Make sure when you buy a camera, you buy one that's designed for your specific use. A decision-making camera is designed to be in the decision-maker's hands. A situational awareness camera like the K2 is designed to help the firefighter find their way out in, when they're in trouble, when they're lost, when they're disoriented. Make sure you do your homework and purchase what you need. Because according to our recent survey with Firehouse, 41% of firefighters in the United States did not know the difference between the two types of cameras. Educate yourself. Reach out to us or any other thermal imaging expert. We'll help you out. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.